Lucas Media. So Columbus Short did a, an interview and he kept it kind of real on a lot of things that we don't want to talk about in our community, uh, specifically black women. Let me play this quick clip and then I'll get back with you with my thoughts. Between being with black women and Jesus. being with... He comes into the home. They're not... Nigga, what you talking about? Unless you giving me this, doing this, doing that, there is no, there is no respect of the man, the black man, in that by a black women, by black women. And I'm not, black women do not be mad at me. Cook, girl, you don't even know how to cook. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's all black women. Can side, that Asian, Korean, Japanese, that, 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 that other side is where, you know, culturally, those women were not, um, those women were taught to hold down, but it's more than subservience. It's it's don't get it twisted. I know you you know how to cuss a thorough man, cuss, cuss a man out thoroughly, and uh, but I, as soon as you cussing them out, you still making dinner. You still and shout out to the person who was able to get the interview from Columbus Short. Um, I I agree with what he's saying to a point, and it's all because we grew up. Really, our elders failed us. I'm not gonna lie. We're about three generations in after the 50s is when you started starting to see a downslide in our community and now we have been programmed our women have been programmed to kind of treat us like act like men in a way you know the the softness that was the th look at your grandmothers right look at a lot of your grandmothers and some of your great grandmothers y'all remember when they was alive when y'all was little you remember they were totally different i got cousins in my 70s mid 70s and i mean they're the nicest sweetest queens you could ever think of that i mean i i knew one of my cousins who i looked up to she worked at jenna motors 30 years and would still cook for her husband cooking clean and make things from scratch and she was sweet and you know you don't see her talking about oh you nigga this nigga that ah. you, you don't hear that but it seemed like between the 70s 80s 90s and even now it didn't got so bad. Hell, it didn't got so bad in my son's generation that they call each other bro. A, a man will call another woman bro. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I be trying to understand. I be asking questions. And you know, my son, them generation, nephew generation, they, you know, them kids, they, they think it's funny. I remember going to school, right? And it was a, a you know, you, you had like the advanced classes. The softest, kindest black queens was in there. And guess what? They was getting made fun of. Oh, they want to be white. Oh, they talk white. You know, they ain't like us. <laughs> like they want, they want women, our black women, the image to be a bonded on, cussing people out in public, getting, getting, challenging a man. You go to other cultures, you don't see that. You know, when I went to China for three weeks, and I didn't been to plenty of places all over this world, it's totally, totally different. Totally different. Because why? They still believe in gender roles to a degree you know the woman still cook the man still the provider yeah are you gonna bump heads and have disagreement sure but in our it's only in our culture it's only in our culture to where you see the woman will challenge a man she'll pull up at his job and slash his tires and smack him in front of people and show out in, in the mall and you know any really women now a lot of our women now have more testosterone in them than men that's how it comes across matter of fact i went to this boat party and this one girl she thought she lost her stuff but I, you know she was drunk or whatever and she had the nerve to come up she she walked up on every man and asked them did they steal her stuff but it wasn't like she asked in a nice way like she stepped to him and you know men like us come on now we're not going for that well i remember one time this girl at my job she was walking up to men like man what you want to do but she playing around she made one of my homeboys mad and his his woman that was there had to calm him down and he was like man she want to act like a man she gonna get treated like one but you only really see this with black women you know not all not all by no means you know even my daughter my daughters are very um soft but i still have to tell them like man you know you gotta you got you, sh you should learn how to cook you should learn how to keep your man happy oh no i ain't, ain't no nigga gonna tell me what to do ain't no nigga gonna tell me what to do but this is the music that they hear and me and i had an argument one time with somebody or de or a debate and they were like oh man you know man uh you queens man they independent and da 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 i was like is it is it actually working because all of them want to be married but some people are so far gone to where they don't even know how to play the side role you know they want to stand in front with us and it's like no you need to be behind me protecting the children but again that's not acting black that's not what they think acting black and honestly like i just had somebody excuse my friends text me and say oh you bitch ass nigga the other day now you think that that's somebody who gonna get married who 
I would even want to think about something like that with calling me that or like I said you trying to pull up and and you trying to argue with me for hours I don't want to deal with that I'm out there slaying the dragon conquering the world I want to come home and you know if I'm to um, take care of home with a meal with my woman and you know she helped me unwind and I shouldn't have to come home to more stress but again when you see these movies and the music and they let you believe that that's how it's supposed to be so no i i totally agree with columbus short that's why a lot of dudes are going overseas now because it's like man ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody's gonna keep putting up with this and you know the older older we get man i'm, not, I'm definitely not tolerating nothing and a lot of people they still playing games. a lot of a lot of sisters i know still play the same games in their mid to late 30s that they did in their early 20s and it's like why would i why would i deal with that you know but then when you bring stuff like up like this you know people get mad they hard get the racing kind of fast you know oh, oh you can't talk about their age but it's true you really think i'm gonna put deal with a 40 year old person to act like you isn't it, I'm, I'm sorry i i choose peace and a lot of brothers are choosing peace and until we have these uncomfortable conversations we're gonna keep getting worse and worse you know and a lot of queens they think that they can get away with it because you're getting attention and don't 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 get it confused a man he gonna take you home he gonna do all of that but is he gonna take you to his mother is he gonna give you a ring is he gonna give you his last name you know and those are you the people who he's usually marrying are people who are like who are on his plan you know his helpmate you know a lot of people overseas they seeing this you know they they built like that so why you think again a lot of people are going overseas now and it is what it is we gotta we have to have these kind of conversations but again, am i tripping is it me you know am i stuck in old ages or or is that just how it is now let me know how y'all what y'all think